Put simply, defects are things which are wrong with your installation. A list of these will be on page 2 of your fixed wire report. Each of the defects will be coded according to their danger level. The codes are C1, C2 and C3. You may also see OBS in the coding boxes. C1 is a dangerous defect. This is something which poses an immediate threat and should be rectified or made safe as quickly as possible. An example would be a badly damaged socket exposing live internal parts or a cable hanging down from a ceiling which is also live. C2 is a potentially dangerous defect. These are things which may not pose an immediate threat but are likely to become a danger in the future. Good examples of these would be things like cracked light switches and distribution board covers which aren't securely fastened. If your report contains any C1 or C2 defects, your report will be unsatisfactory and you'll have to have these defects rectified in order to prove compliance. C3 are things which do not comply with the regulations, which aren't actually dangerous. This would be things like lack of circuit identification or perhaps poorly labelled distribution boards. Finally, OBS stands for observations and your electrician may choose to note things under this code if they notice other things that are wrong with your premises, which are not necessarily within the scope of the report. For instance, your electrician might notice that your emergency lighting is a dim in a certain area of your building. This wouldn't be covered by BS7671, but it would be good practice for the electrician to let you know about it. C3 and OBS defects do not constitute an unsatisfactory report. Therefore, you need only get C1 and C2 defects rectified in order to achieve compliance. However, it's always good practice and usually well worthwhile to consider rectifying all faults on site. You might be concerned that even though the test itself may cost only a few hundred pounds, the repairs afterwards to bring your installation up to a satisfactory standard could soon spiral out of control. When we carry out site assessments to quote for jobs, this question of how much the repairs might total comes up all the time. The truth is, you just can't tell until the test has been undertaken. This is why it's so important to choose a good electrical contractor, because you need to be sure that they're giving you honest and impartial advice. Remember, you're not obliged to use the same electrician to test and to carry out repairs. For greater peace of mind, you can always use someone else to fix the defects. Also bear in mind that you do not need to have the entire installation retested after the repairs have been completed. Your electrician will issue you with some documentation, such as an electrical installation completion certificate for larger works, or small work certificates for smaller works. These are official documents, and by keeping them with your original unsatisfactory test certificate, you'll have effectively got a satisfactory report and can prove compliance.